Oh there. Well, we finally found the place. Amba Bhavani non-veg caterers and mess. So somebody told me to try it. I have it on my mind for a long time. All masala is done by my wife. Your wife. Mane liya? Mane mele. Oh, mane mele hai denim do. Oh. It's quite subtle in its aromas, but that aroma wafts through your palate when you place that biryani in your mouth. That keema vade is crunchy on the outside but moist on the inside. Mmm, delicious. Hi folks, hope you're doing well. This is a Saturday morning here in Namma Bengaluru, and I've set out to explore something. So every once in a while I get suggestions from people on interesting places, interesting eateries that I should look at. So I make note of them and what I do is as and when I find some time I visit these places to try and check out what the food is all about. And so I've heard of this place called Amba Bhavani non-veg caterers and mess here in Kanakpura Road near Baswangudi Lal Bagh area. And I'm told this is a tiny hole in the wall sort of an establishment. you get your food you find some place to sit i believe they only have about two tables or so and you savor your uta they do the non vegetarian dishes out here i suppose it's local military style fare the nati kind of fare that uh, you find plenty of here in bengaluru there's a bit of traffic along the way here but i'm hoping that we get there a little early it's about 12 o'clock now they open around 12 12:30 I want to get there a little early so that I can take a look at what's happening and hopefully taste two or three dishes out there. I haven't been there before. I haven't tasted the food there. So, I really don't know what to expect. But hopefully, we will taste something interesting. Where is Amba Bhavani? Amba Bhavani alli chikka hotel ide alla. अंबा भवानी केटर बिहाइंड कूल कॉर्नर होटल प्लेस ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेल इट्स ऑन दी अदर साइड ओ देर वेल वी फाइनली फाउंड द प्लेस अंबा भवानी नॉन वेज केटर एंड मेस द मैप शोज अ लोकेशन समवे देर So that's the menu that you have. They close on Monday. They open rest of the week. So if you come here for lunch, you have the biryani, the chops, the fries, the keema vade, boti fry, the liver, keema gravy. Then in chicken there are about four or five dishes. And I think they're open also for breakfast on Sunday. So you get the idli with some paya, 7 a.m. onwards, some nali chicken masala, some mutton biryani again, and it continues. Fantastic. मटन बिरयानी चिकन बिरयानी बेरे ईटम मटन बिरयानी मटन चाप्स स्पेशल मेथी चिकन ग्रेवी स्पेशल जन ऐन इतार चिकन स्पेल फ्रई रस इतमी गोजु चेन सर ये मटन बिर्यानी कोीमा वे पेपर चिकन को हण तक न्यू ओनर वाट नेम सर मिसो रमानंद So somebody told me to try it. I have it on my mind for a long time. Yeah, definitely. They have been looking. In program, I'll learn more things. Learn, dear. Learn. 
So, who prepares the food, sir? All masala is done by my wife. Your wife? Mane Elia? Mane Mele. Oh, Mane Mele is there, Nimdo. Oh. What's your wife's name, sir? Purnima. This is Purnima. So, Mele Masale Mara to cooking Elia. Masala, everything done here. Done here only. Yes, ah. Your food is what kind of food? Maharashtrian. Maharashtrian food. Maharashtra. So basically, generations ago, yes, sir. your family forefathers have come from Maharashtra, and that's the kind of food that you do. So of course, local influences come in. Ah, this is the biryani. So I've got my mutton biryani here. Is it chicken fry? Yeah? Pepper chicken. I've got my pepper chicken and the keema vade. Well, we have our dishes here. This is a mutton biryani, a biryani that's made with the curry. And there are about three or four pieces of meat that I see in there. What's also visible in that mutton biryani is that tomato. So they make a small batch here. I'm told that the owners, in fact, I just met the gentleman. He was on his way out somewhere. We just popped in here. So he spoke to me for a few minutes. So he says that their family is from Maharashtra originally many, many generations ago. And they settled here in Bengaluru and I think that's very typical of most of the food, this sort of food that you find in the region. So over a period of time they have assimilated into Karnataka, merged the culinary cultures and therefore you have this cuisine. So although they say the cuisine is Maratha cuisine, it's a little different from let's say the cuisine that you would expect to find in a Kolapur or somewhere like that. I think the thing with food is that food travels and food tends to absorb the influences of the land. So basically what we have here is a biryani and then I have two other dishes that I've ordered. This is the Hima Vade, I think that's what they call it. And then I have a chicken fry and I think this is a sherwa that gets served along with the biryani. I think I'm going to make a beginning with that Hima Vade. This is a deep fried Vade. I can see some greens there, perhaps some coriander, some green chilli etc. So this is a dry vade. Oh, I can definitely see the coriander in there, some turmeric that has stained that keema vade yellow. This is a keema vade that has a dry sort of a crust. Mmm, there definitely is a fair bit of the freshness that you taste that comes from the coriander. I'm sure there's some green chilli in there. You can taste the ginger garlic in that as well. So what's nice is that you got a lovely crunchy crust on the outside and on the inside that keema vade is soft, near juicy and spicy. Mmm, that's delicious. I also like the fact that the keema has a bit of a bite. When you're eating mince, mutton mince, solpa bite irbeko, solpa bai ke barbeko. If the meat is minced too finely, you're not really registering the bite of the meat. I like my meat to have a bit of a bite, especially in a keema. I want to bite into some of the strands of the meat and that's really what's happening there. This keema vade would make for a good snack. It's a sainkala sikate hai do. Sainkala sa open hai da. Ke open hai da sainkala? 3.34. 3.34. Dinner illa la. Bari madhyana. Naal kante vare ke. Sunday matra breakfast uh, uh, lunch. Breakfast lunch Sunday ke. Fantastic. Bala chana ke deri. Shunti de, belluli. Coriander suma rakhte ra? Haan, coriander. Mint akala. Mint pudina akala. Pudina. Coriander. Pepper suma re de, haan. Green chili sa de, la. <laughs> Thank you. This keema vade would also make for a delicious accompaniment to your evening tipple, if you get what I mean. The only thing, you have to come here in the afternoon because you are not open in the evening. Parcel some portions of that keema vade and store it for your evening tipple. This is delicious. There is also the warmth that you are tasting from the black pepper. Mmm. I am going to have the next piece with a drizzle of some Limbe Hanu. That keema onde is moist, moistened with that Limbe Hanu. I can taste the spice of the green chilli on the tip of my tongue. Mm. I think they also use a bit of gram flour to bind that mince together. And you do taste a bit of the grainy texture of the gram flour. But it's not the sort that overwhelms that Kima vade. You're tasting mostly the meat and the flavor of the fresh ingredients that go in to flavor it. That lime certainly helps in cutting down some of that chili spice and the pepper warmth. Mmm, delicious. You also bite into a bit of the fat. 
from the meat once in a while. Let's move on next to our mutton biryani. This is a small grain rice, perhaps the siraka sambar rice. The biryani feels a little sticky. Mmm. It's quite subtle in its aromas, but that aroma wafts through your palate when you place that biryani in your mouth. There's a bit of spice that I can taste in that biryani rice as well. Taste some of that masuru bhaji just to wipe off some of the spice from my palate. I think that spice from that keema vade. Mm. Let's taste some of the meat now. The meat is soft with a bit of fat and the salt that peeled away from that piece rather easily. Mm. So the prices here are quite reasonable. So for 180 rupees, you get a good portion of rice and you get about two pieces of the mutton. When you're here, if you're having the biryani, you probably need to have the biryani and also maybe another side just so that you have enough meat to carry through your meal. I wish there was more of the mutton, maybe another piece for which they could have charged me a little more because that combination of that meat with the rice is what hits the spot. The rice by itself is flavorful though on the slightly spicy side. The meat is moist but the salt that seems to benefit from its companionship with the rice. So out here it's a curry that they use and that's typical of Karnataka. Most places that you go in Karnataka, you will find that they use the sheep. So although there are only two pieces of the meat, the meat is soft and moist. Mm. I think what I want to do is also take some of that sherwa to savor with my biryani rice. And the moistness of that sherwa definitely makes for a slurp worthy scoop of the rice. Take some rice, that sherwa and some of that mutton. Mm. I think it's barwaga on biryani takwale. Chicken biryani kuda hai de, but I want to taste the mutton biryani today. Biryani takwale, amele on the side dish takwale. Chicken bakedre, chicken takoli, mutton bakedre, mutton takoli. That side dish will ensure that you have enough meat to last your biryani rice. I'm going to protect the last bit of my meat and turn my attention to that chicken fry. I want to get a piece from the bottom because while I've been savoring that biryani, that chicken piece has been exposed to the air, so that will be cold and perhaps a tad dryer. I'm sorry that I have to use my soiled hands, but I have no other go. Take some of that chicken, plenty of curry leaf and some of that enne. That perhaps the spices that have gone into the making of this chicken fry have been fried in. This is called a pepper chicken fry. It is greenish in its color. I suspect along with the pepper, there's also a fair bit of green chili that's gone in. Mmm, you're definitely tasting the overwhelming flavor and the aroma of the curry leaf. And also, the spice of that green chilli. There's also a fair bit of the garlic that you taste in that. The base for that chicken fry masala, also to my taste buds, is very similar to, let's say, the masala that goes into the making of the sherwa. Plenty of green chilli, some curry leaves there, pepper, and a whole bunch of other spices. And of course, you're only paying rupees 100 and 25 or so for a portion of the chicken fry. So the pieces are such that you need to work a bit to pry the meat from the bone. But that chicken has absorbed that masala rather well. You gotta be watchful of some of these small bones in that chicken fry. But I'm enjoying the flavor of that Mutton pulao, that's delicious. So basically when they make the biryani in the style that they do out here, so first they season the oil with the spices, add in the fresh paste, whether it's the ginger garlic, the green chilli, onions, etc. And then they add the mutton. And they cook the mutton either with some stock or some water. And then the rice is either cooked to a certain extent and then added or perhaps just soaked and then added. And as that rice cooks in that meat stock, that rice absorbs all the flavors of that meat masala. 
so therefore whenever you eating a pulao this style i mean they call it a biryani of course you will find a lot more flavor in the rice the meat would have given up its flavor to that rice so therefore it's always best enjoyed that meat and the rice in unison mm. try the last bit of the mutton some of the fat from my second and last piece of the mutton biryani here mm. you can register some of the garam masala on your palate the warmth that comes from some cloves the residual flavor of bay leaf perhaps some marat mogu somewhere in there what you registering mostly is the punch of the fresh ingredients led by the green chili and that's where that mosuru bhaji comes in handy to calm your palate to a certain extent or go for one more of that keema vade as my meal here comes to a close mm now after that fat of that mutton pulao has perhaps neutralized my palate to a certain extent i can also register the freshness of some dill some sapsige soppu in that and that dill also has a certain sweetness when you savor it idrali solva sapsige soppu kuda ide alla munche kara taste aitu iga biryani tinda mele ye sapsige soppu do smell flavor hada sweetness kuda bartta ide ha very nice nimma hesar enu ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ನಾರಾಯಣಪ್ಪ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲಿದು ಕುಕ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಕುಕ್ ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಗೆ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸ್ವೀಟಿಷ್ ಅರೋಮಾ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಟಿಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಕೀಮಾ ವಡೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ರೆಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ washed away some of that chili heat from my tongue i can now also register the flavor that unique character of the sapsige soppu or the dill that keema vade is crunchy on the outside but moist on the inside mm. I think one more keema vade won't hurt. Mm. It took us some time to find this place because the Google Maps coordinates will drop you somewhere else. So we parked the car perhaps nearly a kilometer away and walked here. Don't go by what you find on Google. Look in this video description I will place the exact Google Maps coordinates so you don't have to park away and then walk here. So we took some time getting here. We had to seek this place out but I'm happy that we finally did. Unlike a typical gourmet on the road where I would perhaps taste almost the entire menu, this was a quick lunch so I tasted three dishes, the mutton biryani, the chicken fry and that keema vade. And all three dishes are the sort that leave you happy and satisfied. The prices aren't much so you get what you pay for in terms of quantity. That rice though is sufficient enough to last for the pieces in the biryani also another fry on the side this is certainly a place that i'm going to bookmark for a future visit so when you visit here and if you are visiting especially on a weekend get here early they open around 12 o'clock there are only three tables here and just to make sure that you don't have to wait too long but even if you have to wait a bit the fare is a sort that will leave you happy at the end of your meal here There was a tasty meal. It's a sort of meal that is reminiscent of a meal in a home in a manner of speaking. And even the flavors that you taste are quite similar to that. Although I did feel the spice when I was savoring my food. Having finished my meal, I don't really feel any of the spicy warmth in my mouth and also no hotte uri as they say. No burning sensation in the stomach. So it's a home style sort of a Maratha meal, but the sort of Maratha cuisine that evolved over generations here in Karnataka. I hope you enjoyed this watch if you did give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I'm going to be doing plenty such tastings that you may not find on gourmet on the road Until the next time take care stay safe bye bye